If you watched my major bronzer haul where I bought every single bronzer that sold inside of Sephora and tested them all out back to back, if you saw that video, well, you're gonna really enjoy this one because I'm gonna round up my top 10 bronzers from that video. These are my absolute favorites. It was really hard to narrow it down to. I'm just gonna be honest. There are so many great bronzers that I tried in that video and that I continue to use, but these are my top 10. So let's get right into it. So we're gonna start this video with the cream category. I wanna start with creams first. It's one of my favorite formulas. I use creams all the time. And I wanna specifically start with the best affordable cream bronzer that is sold inside of Sephora. So one of the most inexpensive ones is from LYS. It's $20, it's a cream stick bronzer. And the formula of this is like butter on your skin. It, it just glides on your skin. It is super richly pigmented, which is a great thing because if you use this a small amount, it's gonna last you, I mean, I can't imagine this running out anytime soon. And I've been using this almost daily. I really, really love this formula. I think it's just a standout. Like I can't think of one complaint with this formula. I think that it's just such a straightforward, amazing cream bronzer and just checks all the boxes. So price-wise, this is amazing, $20. You get a ton of product. Like I said, it's really richly pigmented. So the amount of product that you're gonna actually need to achieve a bronze look, is gonna be very minimal. So less is more with this, which means that's gonna last you a really, really long time. I think it's great for all skin types. I did talk about that in the video and it's just been one of my go-tos. Like it's one of the cream bronzers I've been grabbing the most since I filmed that video. And that just says a lot to me. If I enjoy wearing it every day and I enjoy the whole process of application, plus the upside is the price point and how much product you get, it's just a win-win. So LYS, no limits cream bronzer. This is one of my top 10 bronzers from that video. Now I wanna talk about a bronzer that I didn't think I was gonna love as much as I do. I am obsessed with the cream bronzer from Anastasia Beverly Hills, specifically the color Amber. Now Amber, I will say, I didn't keep this for myself. I put this straight into my makeup kit and Amber works on a couple of my regular clients that I see pretty much weekly. It is a beautiful, beautiful shade. They really nail down a lot of their shades and the cream formula is just perfect. Like it is just a perfect cream bronzer. It blends into your skin, it melts into your skin. There's no patchiness. It's super easy to blend. It's really user-friendly in my opinion. And I love the fact that it's a jar. I'm a big jar fan. I love to like dip a brush in there and just swirl it around, all those things. And it's just really easy and compact. Also, if you're a makeup artist, these are really convenient and handy in my opinion. I love like jars of cream products. They're just user-friendly in a makeup kit. But the Anastasia Beverly Hills, it just checks all the boxes. It's a really great standout cream formula. And to be quite honest, I actually end up liking it more than my Charlotte Tilbury cream bronzer and my NARS cream bronzer. And even my Makeup by Mario soft sculpt bronzing stick, I like it more than that. So that's why this is in this top 10. It is a huge surprise to me how much I love this formula. Price wise, it's 35 bucks. It's pretty much middle of the road. It's not super expensive and it's not super inexpensive. So just something to keep in mind. But this had to be included in my top 10. Another standout to me when I was testing these bronzers was the Danessa Myricks Power Cream Bronzer. This has a matte finish. This is a phenomenal formula. I was so wowed by this formula. It's another one of those bronzers that I keep gravitating towards and keep wanting to use daily because it's such a beautiful finish. I think this is by far one of the best cream bronzers I've ever tried. The formula is super consistent. There's no patchiness. There's no streakiness. It lays beautifully on top of your foundation. It blends out like butter, like, like butter on your skin. It looks super smooth. And I love the fact, especially coming from me, I do have more oily skin. So cream products tend to just slip and slide on my skin if I'm not properly setting them into place. I don't have that problem with this one. In fact, I can just leave it as is and not really set it because it has more of a matte finish. So if you are someone who has oily skin or combination skin, this is a really incredible cream bronzer that is so worth checking out. It's 26 bucks, which I think is a really great deal. And it just, it's not gonna disappoint you. It's a phenomenal matte cream bronzer. Now the last cream bronzer in this category, I had to include this. It might not be a surprise if you're not new to my channel, you're not gonna be surprised to see my Tom Ford shade and illuminate. Now this has a built-in highlighter that you can use as well, but this formula has just been one of my favorites for years and years. I had to include this in my top 10. I just had to because I, I buy it at least once or twice, sometimes three times a year depending on like how many times I use it, but it's just one of my staples in my makeup kit professionally. I use this all the time in my kit. Now, the reason why I love this so much is this is the most skin-like finish. So if you're looking for a cream bronzer that's just gonna look like skin, like literally look like skin and not makeup-y, 
this is what you need. There's a reason why this is my top 10. And there's a reason why I've been using it for so, so many years because this formula is just, it's unmatched. It's just stunning. Great for all skin types. If you're more oily, you definitely want to lock it into place. But if you're dry, you're going to love this formula. And if you just want more of a natural bronze look to your skin in a cream form, this is where it's at. So Tom Ford, it's $90, so don't hate me. But anyone who knows and has tried this formula knows how magical it is. So that is my last cream bronzer out of my top 10 favorites. Now we're going to move on to powder. The powders that I want to move on to first are going to be more of a luminous finish. We're going to move on to Hourglass. Now don't judge how beat up this is. This has been one of my favorite bronzers for years and years. This is mine personally. It's the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer. I love the shade and I wear the shade Radiant Bronze Light. It's just stunning. It's stunning. If you missed this in my bronzer video, feel free to skip to the chapter that is Hourglass and just watch that. But this is the best radiant finish bronzer out there, in my opinion, that is sold in Sephora. Tr not drugstore related, not ones that are carried at Ulta. These are the ones that are specifically sold at Sephora. So this is going to give you the most gorgeous, luminous, lit from within glow to your skin. It doesn't look powdery on your skin. It is a powder bronzer. It doesn't look powdery. It has like this gorgeous smoothing luminosity to it. I've always joked around this like uh, a filter in a bronzer form. It's just a stunning, stunning formula. I had to include this in my top 10 because this is just the best luminous bronzer I've ever tried. So nothing new here. I've had it for years. I didn't buy it for that huge haul. I just happened to have it in my possession and it's still in my top 10 because it is just a showstopper. Switching gears to still luminous, but has more of a natural finish. If you're someone who is looking for a soft bronzer that doesn't look super powdery or super makeup-y, but not in a cream form in a powder form, you have to try out the Matte Radiance Bronzer from Laura Mercier. So it's a Matte Radiance Baked Powder Bronzer. This is so easy to use. You can be such a beginner with in terms of applying a bronzer and you'll still be able to nail this down. Like you'll still be able to put this on and blend it out with such ease. I recommend this for mature, young, anywhere in between oily, dry, doesn't matter what your skin type is, what your skin ages. This is going to work on everybody. So it's so universal, but it's also just so soft. Like it's impactful, but soft. So if you've tried it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's just a phenomenal formula. And I was really surprised that this was such a huge showstopper for me when I was trying out all those bronzers because this formula has been around for a really long time. And I remember one of my clients used to love it and she turned me onto it years and years ago and I kind of just forgot about it. And so when I did the bronzer haul, it reminded me how much I love this formula. So this is now in my makeup kit. I use it professionally and it's just stunning. Now this one is $48. So again, it's not inexpensive. It's, it's definitely not cheap, but I think it's definitely worth it. So if you want to treat yourself to a beautiful finish bronzer, this is really worth checking out and, and it's worth the splurge in my opinion. Now, before I move on to the matte powder category, there's one more bronzer that doesn't quite fit in that category. And it's kind of just off on its own. So I want to talk about it a little bit separately. And that is the powder bronzer from Anastasia Beverly Hills. The reason why this is slightly different is because it's not completely matte. This has a beautiful dimensional finish to it. It's primarily matte, but if you look really closely, there is a soft little bit of luminosity throughout this bronzer. So the reason why this is in my top 10 formula alone is fantastic. It is a fantastic formula powder bronzer. It's actually really inexpensive too when considering how expensive some of these can be. This is only $28, which it's middle of the road. It's totally average, which is very nice. So I have the shade Saddle, but all the shades are gorgeous. I think Anastasia Beverly Hills has an incredible shade range going on in their collection at the moment. Now, the main reason why I love this bronzer so much is it's a matte bronzer, but it doesn't leave you flat. So a lot of matte bronzers can leave you just very flat and one dimensional. It's kind of like putting a matte powder all over your face and then not adding shine throughout the rest of your face where there's no dimension. So same can be said with bronzers. Some can be just a little too flat where there's just no dimension. This is a right in between formula. So if you're looking for a primarily matte bronzer, but you still want to have like some dimension in your skin where you're not super flat, I highly recommend you check out this powder bronzer from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is just a gorgeous formula. It checks all the boxes and it was a huge standout for me. And I definitely put this in my makeup kit because I just, I want to use it on my clients. I want to keep testing it out and using it. And I just really enjoy how it looks on the skin. It's just 
beautiful on. Now we made it to the last category and I have three more bronzers left and they are stunning. Now for warning, one is extremely expensive, one's middle of the road, and one's, one's decently inexpensive. Let's start with the least expensive. So this one is $30. It's from Makeup by Mario. I am hooked on this formula. This formula is like airbrush silk and it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous formula. I think Makeup by Mario does an incredible job with almost all of his products. I think he's got some insanely gorgeous formulas. There's really no exception here. This is such a standout to me. I wanna go out and purchase some more shades to put in my makeup kit because this formula is just perfect. Works on everyone, mature, young, oily, combo, dry. It doesn't matter what who or what you are, like you will enjoy this formula. It's just a perfect bronzer formula. The other reason why I love it too is it is more of a matte finish, but it's not flat. So just like I talked about the Anastasia Beverly Hills has some dimension to it. This is the same thing. It's gonna have some dimension to it. It's not gonna leave your face and your complexion looking flat and dull. It's got some like range throughout, which is really unique and really beautiful, but it also has a very silky feeling. Like it feels like satiny and silky on your skin, which I love that kind of texture when I'm doing a matte bronzer. I think that is just a gorgeous texture to have on your skin. Feels amazing, blends out like a complete dream. And it's just been a standout. I have been grabbing this bronzer nonstop. I think it is just so gorgeous. And it's one of my top favorite matte bronzers I've ever tried in Sephora. Now, the second to last one in my top 10 favorite bronzers is going to be from Pat McGrath. This one is $39. And there's a big reason why this is in my top 10. This gives your skin the most blurred effect. Now this will make texture go away. This is the most smoothing matte bronzer I think I've ever tried. It is stunning on. It is so beautiful. It has a beautiful silky feeling to it. Very much like the Makeup by Mario. It is just super soft, blends out like a dream. The pigment is gorgeous. It's very buildable, which I think is helpful when you're doing a matte bronzer. It's just easy to kind of apply a little bit and then build up the intensity as you go. So it's really user-friendly for that reason. And just formula-wise, I had to include it. It's just a standout formula. It's beautiful. So if you're looking for a matte powder bronzer that gives your skin an airbrush smooth effect, you have to try the Pat McGrath. It's so special. Lastly is one of the most expensive ones. It is from Westman Atelier. It is a $75 beauty butter bronzer from Westman Atelier. So this formula is called the Beauty Butter Powder Bronzer. And this is exactly why it's in my top 10 because this looks like butter on your skin. It blends out like butter. It's so smoothing. It is such a stunning bronzer. And I'm actually, I hate to say it, and I really didn't want to have to put this in my, my top 10 because it is so pricey. Same with the Tom Ford. But when a formula is just so good and it's undeniable, I can't ignore that. I know the price is outlandish, but don't worry. There are so many other bronzers in this top 10 that are going to work and give you the same kind of finish, just like the Pat McGrath. This is going to give you a very similar finish to this one. There's just something luxurious, obviously, about this bronzer. The way it blends on your skin, the finish, it just it is the whole experience. It's a whole vibe in itself. I hate to say that. I know it's really pricey, but if you want to splurge and treat yourself to a luxurious powder bronzer, you have to pick this one up. It's just, there's something very special about it. Like price alone, price aside, the formula is very special. It's just beautifully done. Like Westman Atelier has some incredible formulas. I just, I can't deny I know the price is up there, but a good formula is a good formula and you really do get what you pay for with Westman Atelier. Yeah, you pay for the name also. And yes, you pay for like the extremely heavy weighted packaging. This all costs a lot. It adds to what you're paying for, for sure. Like I just have to say that, but I'm sure they spend a ton of money on their formulas alone because the formulas are just, they're fantastic. You can just tell, like you can tell when you're putting something on your face that is well formulated, that has great ingredients, that is just a great product. And this is it wrapped in one. And bonus points for being so beautiful. Packaging is so stunning. But even if it had ugly packaging, it would be in my top 10 because the formula is so good. So if you try any of these products, any of my top 10 bronzers, you have to leave me a comment. You have to let me know what you thought of them. If you agree with me, I would love to hear your thoughts. I also want to hear again, what are your favorites that you saw from that video? Or if any of these were your favorites, or if you don't agree with my top 10, leave me a comment. Let's start a conversation about bronzers. I'm all about it. I love bronzers. It's one of my favorite categories of makeup to purchase. So this was really fun talking about my top 10. I had a blast sitting down and narrowing these down for you all. If you missed my bronzer video, you can check it out right here. Don't forget it's in chapters. So you can skip ahead to the chapters that you want to see most. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.